Good evening. It may be stating the obvious, but um, well, we take the education of our young people exceptionally seriously. The Macaulay Catholic School um, is only a school when taken in the totality of all the people who work and learn there. Other than that, it is just like any other school made of glass and steel and concrete. But the job of providing outstanding Catholic education is something that again takes vision, it takes leadership and it takes structured planning. It does not happen by chance. And so it shouldn't come as any surprise to anyone that we pride ourselves on planning in a thorough, a detailed and in a strategic way. Before Christmas, we worked up a, an ambitious plan to provide what we are calling world-class education for your children. Again, before Christmas, we shared this with governors and towards the end of term with our staff. We fully intended and planned to share this with you in the new year. However, events have clearly overtaken this. As you know, again before the end of term, we had to react to an announcement made on the Thursday before we broke up about the return of certain groups after Christmas. A further announcement on the 23rd of December meant we also had to plan during Christmas for mass testing that would take place again at the beginning of term. So we met last weekend and then we, we met again on Monday the 4th and by the end of the day on Monday the 4th of January we had put in place a very detailed uh, programme of testing including establishing safe venues uh, on our school site, looking at recruiting and training 15 staff to carry out this testing as well as a schedule for testing year 11 and year 13 followed by other year groups, gaining consents and managing any possible cases. But on Tuesday evening, the 5th of January, uh, we found out that we would not be welcoming students back after all. We found out on Wednesday, the 6th of January in the afternoon, that GCSE, AS and A-level exams would not now go ahead in the summer but the BTECs, but that BTEX would. And then within half an hour, a reversal which put the onus on schools to decide whether or not they would safely run BTEX that have taken place this week and will take place next week. Look, I'm under no illusions about the scale of the task uh, that befalls government in relation to managing this crisis. But my primary concern is the welfare and well-being and managing the considerable fallout uh, of these decisions on our young people. Indeed, many members of staff have reported to me that they have had to field questions from concerned parents and carers, but also more from very upset young people who are facing exams this year. And it's, it's really clear that in their questions, they are looking to us for some, for some certainty. And, and because of that, uh, it, it's really quite humbling. And it, it reminds us that we as people who look after and work with young people, that we're in a really privileged position, a, a, a position of, of genuine responsibility. And so since these announcements have been made regarding exams, we have spent some time considering and planning to give as much certainty to Year 11 and Year 13 as we possibly can. On Monday, the 11th of January, at 6pm, we will be holding two separate live meetings for students and their parents and carers. One will be for Year 11 and the other for year 13. Invitations and how to join 
will be sent out to parents and carers of Year 11 and Year 13 on Monday. In these meetings, which will be recorded, we will explain how online learning and common subject-based assessments will be central to students demonstrating their ability so that staff can, with confidence, award them the best grades possible. So therefore, again, attendance and engagement in all online lessons and tasks is crucial. Again, it's more important than ever that all students engage in home learning tasks to the best of their ability and minimise those gaps that will result in non-engagement when we return to school. We won't be neglecting other year groups either and we will be paying some further attention to year 10 and year 12 in the coming weeks. It's a blooper. We will still be able to offer uh, some devices to uh, our young people should they need them. In 24 hours, the last 24 hours, we have indeed uh, processed over 100 requests. And uh, should you still require um, either a loan or to purchase a laptop, then please do refer to um, uh, the website uh, and also Facebook where you'll be able to see Mr Tucker's video explaining how you can uh, get one of these. I guess one of the things that we've got used to is reacting as swiftly as we can uh, to unforeseen ev uh, events, rather like the camera falling off its stand. And there's no point getting wound up about them, is there? Things don't always run like clockwork, do they? Finally, thank you for your messages of uh, support. They are really well received and they mean the world to us all. Together, we will continue to work to ensure that your young people get the education they deserve, a world-class education for all students, regardless of their backgrounds. God bless and have a lovely weekend. <laughs>